Tasty Tuesday, show us Tuesday, I try to make something tasty, sometimes it works. You want a pumpkin shit? Well, we're doing pumpkin shit. Starting with this pumpkin ravioli recipe from Hot For Food, which I have been dying to try since they released it last year. I've never made pasta before. I mean, I've never made my own pasta. I've like bought store-bought noodles and like they were dry and I put them in water. I've done that, so. But I've never made my own pasta from scratch before and I don't have one of those pasta rolly things, but this one you don't have to. So we're gonna make some pumpkin ravioli. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully delicious. Let's make this dish. Step one, okay, we're gonna to start by making the dough. This is the third Tasty Tuesday in a row that we've used dough. We sure like doing that, don't we? <laughs> We're already there. We're gonna take one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one and a half cups of don't whole wheat flour. Okay, so I'm gonna do the spoon thing where you spoon out the flour into the cups because that's how you get accurate ingredient measurements. I learned from the comments. Sure it takes a long time to do it this way. That's okay, we're gonna do it accurately. One and a half. And we're gonna mix in half a teaspoon of sea salt. Sea? Sea salt. After our salt has been all mixed in there nicely, we're gonna take one cup of room temperature water. But what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> You hold on, I'll tell you. Oops, I forgot to tell you. We gotta make a well with our flour, and then we're gonna put the cup of water in the well. I really hope I'm doing this well. Does the fun ever start? Okay, and then we're gonna fold until just combined. With a spoon, maybe? We're guessing. I still feel like I use too much flour. I don't know why I can't not do that. So then we're gonna take our ball of dough and we're gonna put it on the counter. Knead it until it's sticky, but not too sticky. I'm gonna knead this until it's sticky. <laughs> Stop it, grow up. Once we got our ball of dough, we're gonna lightly flour it and put it back in our bowl while we do other things. Do it. Lightly flour. It says to let the dough rest. Have some rest, good night. What a diva. It's had a long, hard day of becoming dough. Leave it alone. Then we're gonna take a third a cup of cashews that have been soaking for the past hour and a half. It only says to soak them for 20 minutes under boiling water, but I just want it to be safe. Cashews in. One cup of pumpkin puree, which is about half a can, I think. A third a cup of nutritional yeast. One tablespoon of tomato paste. Oh my god. Everything's fine. Stop being dramatic. One tablespoon of lemon juice. From a lemon. Three garlic cloves. Or four or five. A third a cup of vegetable stock. One teaspoon sea salt. A sea spoon. <laughs> Just kidding. A teaspoon of sage and a teaspoon of basil. Surprisingly, I had most of the ingredients. Brag about it. I will. A teaspoon of nutmeg. You're like, how many ingredients are in this? A lot. And half a teaspoon white pepper, and that's it, I swear. Okay, now it says this is the tricky part. So I have my spatula ready, but we're basically gonna need to get these to a good consistency where they're well blended without adding more liquid because we don't want it to be more watery. So might have to start and stop a few times, but that's okay. Sometimes we have to do that in life. That was a lot of ingredients. My goodness, some of you need to go home. Go home. I need to yeah, good job Vitamix. My blender was like, oh, you thought that was gonna be a problem? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, right. Mmm, smells really good. Holy moly, I cannot wait to eat these. I really hope this turns out. I really hope we pump can. I really hope I'm not jinxing this. All the wood. So then we take our sauce and we put it in the fridge. Take a nap. Now we're gonna bring our dough out and we're gonna work with half of it at a time. Super stoked. On a lightly floured surface. We're like professional at this now. Hell yeah. We are going to roll our dough out to 1 16th of an inch. That's very, very thin. It's even thinner than last week and that was super thin. Can we do it? I don't know. I'm not a psychic. I put a dish towel underneath my cutting board so it doesn't move around while I do this. Thank you to whoever suggested that in the comment. You're my hero. I don't think I even know what 1 16th of an inch looks like. This is as thin as I could possibly go. There's no more cutting board for me to go thinner. Now the recipe says to use three and a half to four inch wide square cookie cutters. If you have those, I couldn't find them anywhere. But I do have these little heart shaped cookie cutters and I have pumpkin cookie cutters, but I don't think they're big enough. That would be super Super fitting though. We're doing heart shaped. I feel like the world could use a little bit more love right now. And if you disagree with me, do not turn on your TV. Heart shaped ravioli. I don't even know if you can handle this. Oh, whoops. That's pretty thin, right? Is that too thin? Does it have a problem? We got our little heart shaped ravioli pieces cut out and put on this parchment paper thing. Water, salt, boil, do it. You are very sweet. <clears throat> 
Excuse me, I need a moment with my stove. You go sit in the corner. I'm gonna have a deep talk with you. You better hope your father doesn't find out about this. Okay, our water's boiling on the back burner because the front burner has a problem with us today. That's okay. Next, we're gonna take our shapes, our ravioli shapes. We're gonna put a half a tablespoon of filling into half of the raviolis because they're gonna make a like this. So don't fuck this up. Half a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Cute. Leave some room around the edges. This is more me telling myself to do this. We need some room around the edges so that we can place the other shape on top of it. Then we're gonna take a little cup of water and dip our finger into it. Put it around the rim and then merge them together. Ooh, I don't know why this is so sexy, but pumpkins in the fall shit. It really gets people going, you know? It really gets the people vibing. It brings people together. Oh my gosh, I want this to be good so bad. Wouldn't that be dope as fuck if this worked? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh! One thing's for sure, Tasty Tuesday, it's not boring. Your house might get burned down, but it's not gonna be boring. So I guess like, don't put parchment paper so close to fire. Who knew that? Why don't they teach us this stuff? Okay, we're sealing together. Cute, cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this until all the raviolis are done doing this. Cool, cool. Oh my gosh, cute! I really hope this works. So cute. So now we're gonna boil these in small batches. I'm thinking like three at a time maybe. Three at a time for three minutes. And then I'll tell you what next after that. Oh, they're just babies. Please work. It's like watching babies swim for the first time. So scary, so exciting. Okay, become raviolis, please. Do I stir it so they don't stick? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Am I doing this right? Are you working? Ravioli, are you okay? Do you need help? So like when they're done, supposedly they float to the top. Just like people. Let's do this. <gasps> they're floating, oh my gosh. I think it's working. I think they're floating. <gasps> Look at it, they're floating. Maybe, I think, maybe. This one's totally trying to be a ravioli right now. You can do it, I am so proud of you. I still have to roll out the rest of the dough and do all the stuff all over again, but I'm so excited. We're making pasta. <laughs> This is so exciting. Okay, I'll see you when it's like more exciting. Okay, all of my babies have floated to the top. They're all excellent swimmers, so I'm taking them out with a slotted spoon. It doesn't even feel like there's filling in there. But there is, right? We're doing this right? We're doing this right, right? right? Okay, I'm not sweating. Now that our raviolis are boiled and beautiful, we're gonna make the sauce. Now the thing about the sauce is we can only make the ravioli six at a time in the sauce. Does that make sense? You're gonna make the sauce with each serving. You'll get it when you see it. All right, hopefully you you see it and hopefully it works. <laughs> to do this, we're gonna take a pan and heat it over medium high heat. Please work. Yes, thank you. We're gonna add one tablespoon of butter or earth balance to our pan once it's heated. Are you heated? Someone told me a good trick for knowing if a pan is heated. You go. <gasps> it makes sounds when it's done. Tablespoon of butter. Done. To the butter, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of onions, chopped. Oh, oh. Some of the onions. And we're gonna let the onions saute for two to three minutes. No, for one to two minutes. No, I know the answer. Two to three minutes. After about two to three minutes, we're gonna add two tablespoons of fresh sage, roughly chopped, which I am pretty sure I did, because I don't think I know any other way to chop sage. And we're gonna cook that for one to two minutes, right? No, just kidding. We're gonna let that cook for another minute. Yeah. Nailing this. Oh my goodness, it smells good. If I could put this in a candle and light it when I'm sad, I would do that. After that has been cooking for about a minute, we're gonna start adding raviolis in. Ooh, I'm so excited. Wait, let me just make sure so I don't mess it up. Is it right? Add boiled raviolis and salt and pepper to taste. Don't overcrowd the pans. Raviolis have space issues. They don't like crowds. And we're gonna let the raviolis cook about one to two minutes on each side. I think. Nailing it. Salt and pepper to taste, quickly. Yeah, sure. Okay. You should notice a nice golden brown color on your ravioli. Yes, you're totally nailing it. Now we're gonna add in a fourth a cup of white wine. I just love cooking with wine or any sort of alcohol. It's like, oh, that's not supposed to go in food. It's silly, but it's going in food. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come now, it's a party. Someone brought the wine and it's a party. I'm gonna let that cook for one to two more minutes while I quality check this wine. Someone's gotta do it. And I think that's good. I don't wanna burn it. I thought it was burning for a second, but it wasn't. It was caramelizing, which is what I would tell people if I ever burnt something. It's not burn, it's caramelizing. 
caramelized, bitch. You're not a bitch, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to try to serve these up right away while they're all good and fresh. I still have more bo boiled raviolis to cook, but you have to do them in batches with the sauce, you know, cooking them each time like that. So let's taste them, see if they're tasty, and then I'll cook the rest at a later time without you watching me. To serve these, what we're gonna do is get really fancy. We're gonna take the rest of our ravioli filling, which you should still have some left, and we're gonna put it on the bottom of the plate so that it merges with all the flavors. Oh my God, this is so exciting. My pump can't handle it. Presentation, I feel like a real chef. Look at how pretty these are, look at. Look how cute those little heart raviolis. <laughs> I can't handle it. I really didn't think it was gonna happen for us, but it happened for us. It took quite a bit of time, but I feel like I've been getting better at cooking. Look at this freaking presentation. Like, eat it up. Holy shit, bitch. You're not a bitch, I'm so sorry. I think it's time to see if it's tasty. BRB. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. We are doing fall really hard. We are falling hard in love. Falling hard in love with fall. Okay, that's enough. Let's see if these are tasty. So these are pumpkin raviolis. What? Yeah, I made them with my hand. This, they look weird. <laughs> But for raviolis, I you thought know, they look good. No, I mean they look like you know they look great, but they, but it, they look odd. Wow. No, because it's ravioli. Like you tell me that's ravioli. I that's mean heart-shaped ravioli. No, that's cute. I like that. You think they look weird? Well, no, it's because it's ravioli. Oh, now he's like backstepping on his words. I stand by it, but wow. it, it's not for ravioli. Cool. It looks odd. It looks it looks not like raviolis all the time. Whatever. If you saw this on a menu, you'd be like, that's ravioli. Do you know what ravioli is? It's just a pocket full of pasta. I mean, okay, pasta well. I guess I'm, yeah, I'm not used to this. You freaking uncultured Tell person? You're right, it's me. All right. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Yeah? It's great. Oh my god. What is that? That's so good. It's that's pumpkin filling. That's good, yeah. It's got a little spice, a little kick to it. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I wonder if that, what is that from? The garlic, maybe? Hell yeah! This is good. I like it. It's tasty! Good job, bub. This is a good fall treat. <laughs> It's a real fall treat, huh? It's a real fall treat. Martha Stewart living. Holy balls, this is good. That's better. I'm so into this. I like it. I like the whole damn thing. A lot of times when you think pumpkin spice dishes, you think it's gonna be like a sweet dish. But this is pumpkin ravioli and it's so good. It's bomb AF. I don't know why we need it, but we need it. I didn't know I needed it, yeah. but I needed it. So Hopper Food came up with this. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check out the recipe. It took a while to make for me, but it, it was, was worth it. Time. It was a long way. It's worth it. I agree. Good job, Bubba. Thank you. You wanna have any like sarcastic clips or you feel like you're gonna dig yourself a hole. Uh, you know, I think I've, yeah, I expended my amount, my allotted mm -hmm. amount. Okay. So I'm gonna have a nice evening with you, so right. I'm pretty chill actually. Great, point. that's yeah. a good choice. Yeah. That's a good option. Why okay. the hearts? Because it's not even close to Valentine's Day. I didn't have square cookie cutters. Oh, so <laughs> that's I a good heart. reason. Hope that's okay. They're just out of season, but it's fine. You know what? Love is never out of season. I think love has that's a season. What I, that's There's what I think. There's a specific season for love, and this isn't it, but that's and it's okay. it's Valentine's Day? If they were like witches. What did you get me for Valentine's Day? Uh, Bye. I'm gonna get some uh, Goodbye. Bye. To bath you, bud? Get out of here. I'm not putting that on a camera. I put it on everything. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye.